Okay. What is up, guys? Um, basically, this is tips for movement that probably should be illegal. But not really, but you know, faster movement. So, I'm sorry if I'm bad at, at explaining things, but this is just the simplest way I can explain things. So, uh, there's a few movement techniques that are fundamental. First, tap strafing. You know, so tap strafing, you know, air strafing, you just like you can curb. So you, cause you can hit jump and then like space, whatever your jump button is, and then you go A or D. I like to use D personally, D and S. So you can like you can go like that without without any tap strafe. You can just slowly curb the movement, but it's not effective. Like you you, you can do that, but like that's really about it, and it doesn't even work out the time. So what? I'm showing you right now is tap shaving you can literally just do a full like 180. Alright and then slide tap shaving. It's just the same but this was a slide. And you get more distance. This is great if you're like in a fight, let's say shooting the dummy and you know where like, shots. Uh that was a bad example I said all my shots just somehow. But I could tap shift into the dummy. Or as you see Timmy do, you know, he use Pathfinder, yeah. he'll grapple, so say he'll grapple, this is a wall, he'll go grapple and he'll go right behind the wall and heal, so tap shift into healing a battery. But, uh, I really think the fundamental, the fundamental for any movement player should be learning, the first mechanic should be tap shifting, as it opens the door for so many more advanced mechanics such as uh, the next one we'll get into which is zipline bouncing where you just do a hyper jump basically where you look you can even have to look up but you just look at the zipline hold E do you press E and then hit jump really fast so that's normal jumping with scroll wheel it makes it so much easier I'd recommend bindings and this to scroll wheel jump to scroll wheel down or up and then tap shift into the other one so with this you can do that instead of just flinging yourself forward, you could fling yourself in you know, a 180 with tap shifting. Same thing with um, air strafing, you can slow do it without tap strafing, but not as effectively as with the tap strafe. So jump, tap strafe, in the direction you want to go in, and then yeah. So the two things we've learned so far is tap strafing and then zipline. Uh, jumping, which in my opinion are really fundamental, especially on maps like World's Edge or Olympus or not not King's Canyon as much, but World's Edge and probably Storm Point, where there's a few buildings in the Storm Point and World's Edge with zip lines. You can incorporate that. Also, just getting like in control of and getting on the ledges. You just and then you can surprise them because normally they'll expect you just to take up the zip. But yeah. with the with the zipline bouncing technique. You can really just uh, surprise your enemies with striking speed. And if your aim is good, unlike mine, mine is really bad. Like, um, but if you have that, uh, if you have the two fundamentals down, you can really surprise your enemies and like start doing some weird, <laughs> some weird crap with your movement. The third mechanic um, that would be a fundamental. It's not super gliding, so this is not really useful. I just had a, a config, so I love doing it. But it's B hopping. So, B hopping is where you just hop on the ground, holding crouch, and a direction movement key, and maintain your momentum. It's a lot easier down with Horizon, but you can do it with any other legend you want. Um, all the should be miss wingman shot, but yeah. So tap shift, you can tap shift into a B hop. You can also just B hop normally without even you can slide. You can slide jump into a B hop like this without even you just you could just you don't even have to uh, hold W. You can really just B hop, but holding W and crouch, W crouch and a directional movement key really boosts that B hop effectiveness. As you can, as you could B hop right. Go B hop, be up into a tap strafe, and keep B hopping. Go another tap strafe, 
And with Horizon, it's even more effective, so. Now, the third move mechanic is B hopping. You can incorporate all of these into a little flashy move where you know you're sliding around. You get to this, you slide up, you slide down, and then. Um, you have to be more really effective because you're always a sitting duck if you do that. But like, you have all shooting, it's also kind of hard to get to your mouse, so uh, it's not really effective. But yeah. The fifth, and I would say final fundamental movement mechanic. Um, This is really optional if you don't want to win this. These are. It's one into two, but this is. Uh, character specific legend specific to horizon and octane so with horizon gravity lift normally you should straight up and get flung off but you can tap it on it <laughs> and it's really fun just to uh, get up really fast in a different direction now it's not as effective as the next one i'm about to show you but it's still really f cool and fun to do and might throw your enemies off guard but this one this next one will this one is with Octane and his jump pad, so you wanna oh, that's got a kick. to do this you wanna find your nearest charge tower, charge tower. or just wait 90 seconds because this ultimate comes really fast. But uh so basically there's gonna be a tap trafe on auto jump pad, there's so many people who've already done this. There's multiple, so you can go <laughs> just tap it in the air and stall. You can Tap straight from the air to do like a 180, or the favorite of most is to do that. Is it the whatever 180 thing? Is? I can't do it consistently yet, but I don't think that's more effective. I think this one is more effective, where you can tap straight two damage on locking jump pad. So, how you do this is instead of because you can't really do that unless you know. You can't really do that without tap shooting. So you want to jump before the jump pad, and as you're hitting the jump pad, you want to perform a tap strafe. Whatever keybind you have for tap strafing, it's scroll wheel up or down. So as you see, I failed that one there, but you want to. So it's actually when you're about to hit the jump pad, you're gonna perform a tap strafe as in the jump pad. So make sure not to mess it up like I did. But slide into the jump pad. Form a tap strafe. And then you can just run a crazy movement. But yeah. Um, those are like the, really the five, well, really four base movement tips, and then one legend specific that really impacts your game. But to review what we've gone over today, um, first of all, is tap strafing, a movement player's friend. Uh, remember, bind scroll wheel to one of your. Uh, Scroll wheel to the to W as your alternate bind, and yeah, you'll be performing 180s in like no time. Second movement mechanic is zip line bouncing. I can grab this here. So this, and then zip line. I was with tap strafing. Third is B hopping. B hop around the map. Yapping is really good. Um, the fourth one. The fourth one's on the legend specific. So, basically, the uh, fourth one's on the legend specific. But you don't really need an idea. I didn't I'm gonna say four. I kinda just woke up, so. But yeah. The four, the three movement tips, and then one legend specific tip. But the fourth movement tip is going to be that octane jump pad dual tap shift where you can kind of hit the jump pad. Hopefully, not mess it up like I did. It works better with the stim. That's really about it. I mean, like. Like the video if you find it helpful. If I miss anything in the comments, uh, I am open to criticism and just like let me know what I can improve on. And then 
without uh, further ado, I will see you uh, later. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.